In this brief video, I'm going to talk about the difference between truth values in logical expressions and sentences. And this is largely within the context of first order logic, although it often applies to uh, other classical logics as well. And I'll, I'll touch on that. So, what's the difference between a truth value, a term, and a sentence? So, John likes Mary is a sentence. Uh, and it has a truth value. It can be either true or false. Either John likes Mary or he doesn't, at least in a you know, simplified uh, classical logic interpretation. Fido, Fido the dog, is, uh, on the other hand, a term. It's not true or false. It doesn't make sense to talk about Fido is true. Uh, Fido just is, or he isn't. It's a, a term denotes something in the real world, or maybe an imaginary world, too. Fido is an imaginary dog in a story. Then we also have functions. Now, functions also denote terms. They're not true or false. They are uh, pointing to something in the real world, and they're indexed by their arguments. So uh, somebody's height, John's height, uh, that's an expression that's maybe using a height of function, and it has a value. Uh, maybe John is six feet tall. So it's not true or false, it just is. So let's look at this a little more formally in a sort of uh, simplified uh, syntax, uh, computer syntax for logic. Uh, we can say John likes Mary, so maybe we have a standard uh, notation with uh, parentheses uh, and uh, prefix uh, operator, as you would normally see in many textbooks on symbolic AI or expert systems. So we can say likes John Mary, this is uh, equivalent to John likes Mary in informal uh, English. Fido is a named identifier, just like likes and John and Mary are identifiers in a logical expression, which is really a sort of programming language, just a, a different kind of programming language. And uh, here's an example of somebody's height. We might have a, a function name height of function, and it would take a single argument, maybe an individual. So John likes Mary. Uh, likes is a relation, and the arguments to that relation or terms, and then this relation is a sentence, and the sentence has a truth value. Okay, so one more time, uh, John likes Mary is a sentence. Uh, the arguments uh, of this sentence, arguments to the relationship likes are John and Mary, they are terms, and the overall thing has a truth value. Either it's true or it's not true. And contrast this with John. Uh, we might have an expression height of function John that has a certain value. The arguments to the relationship, and functions are relationships, they're just a specific kind of relation. So you might remember from high school algebra, a function is a relation for which every argument in the domain has a unique value for the range. That's a functional relationship. So height of fun John, at any one point in time at least, John has a particular height. And so here to the right, uh, we have uh, the relationship that the height of John is equal to the measure of him being six feet in, in height. Okay, so height of function is a, uh, a function, and that function denotes a term. It denotes a particular value uh, that is, in this case, we've assigned to the height of six feet and contrast this with an operator like the logical operator and. If we have a sentence, John likes Mary and Bob likes Sue, then the arguments to the operator and are themselves sentences. So it's true that John likes Mary, and it's also true that Bob likes Sue, or, or it isn't, right? So this can be also a query. Um, and as a logical operator, its arguments are sentences. Sentences have a truth value. It doesn't make any sense to say the and of John and Sue. Well, what does that mean? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but it does make sense to say that something about John and Sue, uh, that John likes Mary and John, Bob likes Sue, that that result is true. Or we can ask if it's true, if it's a query. So here are some possibilities for errors of violating uh, these uh, particular constraints. So if somebody uh, tries to write equal x likes John Mary, well, likes is a relation. Its arguments are terms. Uh, they're not sentences. Likes, however, is a sentence. And we're, se we're uh, assigning, in this case, uh, the truth, the truth value of that sentence to x. 
Now, you're not allowed to do that uh, in first order logic. There are classical and even non classical, of course, higher order logics uh, where you can do that. You can assign a truth value to a variable, but at least for first order logic, you're not allowed to do that. So, so it's kind of a maybe. Uh, the second one, the, here we've tried to say that uh, and width of tree, the general Sherman tree, maybe in Yellowstone Park uh, or, or Yosemite Park, uh, and the height of John are the same. So maybe John's really tall, uh, maybe he's 30 feet tall, and the, the general Sherman tree is something like 30 feet uh, wide. And we're saying and. Well, we actually meant in this case, uh, if we want to do a correct statement, is maybe to say that they're equal. Uh, but and is an operator. Its arguments are sentences. Sentences have truth values, whereas height of John denotes uh, a particular thing, the uh, length of six feet or the height of six feet, uh, if that in fact is his height. And the general Sherman tree might be the width of 30 feet. We can say that they're equal or one is greater than uh, another, uh, but we can't say and because it doesn't really make sense to say, uh, again, you know, and six feet, 30 feet. That's just nonsense. So these are common errors. Uh, hopefully pointing them out has uh, given you some inklings about how to make sure that you don't make them yourself uh, when you're writing logical expressions. And if this was helpful, please let me know and check out some of the other resources that I have available. Thanks for listening.